is Supermicro about to cash in on one of the biggest AI hardware deals of the year? Let's talk about the quiet $100 million windfall hiding behind Iris Energy's latest move. What happened? Iris Energy on the 3rd of uh, July, that was a uh, Thursday, the 3rd of July, they announced a major leap buying uh, 2,400 NVIDIA Blackwell GPUs to expand from uh, Bitcoin mining into the booming AI and HP, HPC sector. But here's the kicker. These GPUs require liquid cooling servers, which narrows the field of uh, potential suppliers dramatically. Supermicro's role in the Blackwell ecosystem. Supermicro is one of NVIDIA's top server partners and they've already been showcasing Blackwell ready liquid cooled systems. They are fast, customizable, and already delivering massive AI server orders, making them a top candidate to fulfill this Iris Energy's uh, needs. How much could uh, Supermicro make? Let's run the numbers. If each server hosts eight Blackwell GPUs, that's about 300 servers. And with each liquid cooled server costing between $300,000 to $400,000, we're talking about $90 million to $120 million in potential revenue for Supermicro. That's significant revenue. That's a significant revenue boost for SMCI, potentially impacting upcoming earnings. Why does this matter for investors? This comes at a time when SMCI stock is recovering and short interest is also falling. Combine that with their own stock buyback and rising demand for AI infrastructure, we might be looking at the next breakout. Meanwhile, the leverage ETF SMCX is trending too, but don't forget, 2x ETFs uh, decay over time, so be strategic. In the race for AI infrastructure dominance, every server sale matters. If SMCI is behind Iris Energy's, Iris Energy's uh, Blackwell GP deployment, this might be a multi-million dollar catalyst hiding in plain sight. Yeah, this is this is likely to be that is it's likely that um, SMCI is uh, a beneficiary of this. Yeah, SMCI obviously you know very well is one of Nvidia's top OEM server partners and one of the few companies that offers uh, liquid cooled Nvidia certified servers optimized uh, optimized for B one hundred GPUs and has existing infrastructure and skill to deliver this kind of uh, high or high volume orders, has publicized its uh, support for Blackwell in recent press and earnings. Yes, we, we you know very well, you, you must have heard uh, um, the CEO talking about that. So other certified OEMs include uh, HPE, Dell and Lenovo, but uh, SMCI is uh, uniquely positioned because they offer rapid customization and delivery cycles. They are deeply embedded in the AI, AI server market. And AMC, sorry, SMCI has uh, previously been mentioned in similar AI GP deployment projects. So I I really, I really doubt if, I mean, I strongly believe that it just has to be SM, SMCI that's behind this order from um, Iris Energy. I really don't think these other ones, these other players, HP, Dell, you know, and, okay, well, Lenovo, these are top, 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 top uh, competitors. You know, you know, HP is really, you know, it's been around for ages. Lenovo, Lenovo used to be IBM, and of course, yeah, Dell. You know, a Dell also, uh, also uh, highly competent. You know, established uh, before SMCI was established. So, SMCI is in. Uh, uh, if it terms of if in ter if you talk if you're talking about reputation, if you're talking about um, legacy. SMCI doesn't come close to these other players, but uh, for some reason they have been able to jump right into this game. They are right into the game of AI um, of um, of uh, AI um, GPUs. You know.
yeah the uh nvidia blackware gpus are power hungry high performance chips built specifically for ai and hpc high point high performance computing computing these chips are uh, generating significant heat especially when deployed at scale like uh like um iris energies is uh, planning to do liquid cooling is the preferred and necessary solution for modern ai slash h h h p c at the data center because it uh, allows uh, higher rack density and better thermal efficiency. Air cooling is not sufficient so sufficient for dense GPU clusters, especially uh, two thousand four hundred Blackwell GPUs. Nvidia's uh, reference architecture, example, the HGX uh, B one hundred systems are designed for liquid cooling. So it's a uh, highly probable that GPUs, uh, these GPUs, will be installed in liquid cooling and server racks either through Supermicro or other NVIDIA certified as server partners. And I, well, there might be other ones, but um, it's there's a good chance it's gonna be, um, uh, it's gonna be um, 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 SMCI. So yeah, you probably know very well, the underlying trend is, uh, let's see what we have here. Underlying trend on the stock, has it uh, gone bullish? This is its uh, four hour chart. Let's look at the daily chart. Let's go to daily chart. Uh, underlying trend is uh, is uh, okay. Well, neutral to bullish. Okay, yeah, quite bullish. It's quite bullish. Yeah. Um, let's see on this chart. Projections go all the way towards. Uh, let's see what we have. Fifty eight point zero seven, sixty five point three three, sixty nine point eight two. Higher prices are extrapolated to continue to print up till. Um, up to Monday, the 28th of July. And then after that, we might see a distributive uh, contraction of the of the strength that has uh, been in place since, um, yeah, since the 12th of May. Yeah, since the middle of May, you know. Yeah, that's the, that's, that's what's going on. Yeah, so projections go all the way towards uh, all the way towards 69.82 we can have a look at the weekly chart to see if we have uh, uh, even more ambitious projections let's look at the weekly chart uh yeah we have we have we do have we have to we we have the, the even lower projections as well we have 32.03 66.15 .05, and then 68.33 83.89 93.50 Okay, so let's see what uh, is available in the four hour chart. Anything more ambitious than we have already seen? On the four hour chart, we have uh, a diverse range of projections. We have beginning from the least 41.93, 43.20, 45.26, then upper projections we have uh, 50, 56.24, 60.01, 62.34. So, yeah. So yeah, see what you make of uh, all of these. Um, that news came out. Iris Energy they were buying two thousand four hundred, uh, uh, or they had or they had plants, or they have already purchased two thousand four hundred uh, uh, Nvidia Blackwell GPUs. So definitely, definitely, we're talking about uh, SMCI here. You know, indeed, of course, um, Nvidia will, you know is the beneficiary, but um, yeah. Uh, SMCI is would add much more value. Would add, you know, it's it plays into their hands. And of course, you know, along the whole ecosystem, Nvidia has also added its own uh, value. Um, TSMC would have also added added its own value. Um, all those companies that um, you know provide all that is needed to make the chip. They've ordered out of the all at you know achieve their own value. So along the chain, the the value keeps growing. You know, and then. Of course, when they buy the, the GPU, they're not going to just uh, stick them on stick it, stick them on the wall, and uh, they will start uh, delivering the, the the outcomes. You know, they have to be on servers, and that's where SMCI comes in to add its own value. You know, and then we're talking about um, up to four hundred, up to one hundred twenty million dollars in uh, in in revenue in just just from one client alone. You know, so see what you make of all of these and uh thank you very much for watching this video